Hello everybody, George Vance here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, it's a Z fold card. I haven't made one of these on camera before, so I thought I'd make one. Right, this month card pal colour is yellow. So I am going to change this to Daffodil Delight for my card pal. So the pieces you'll need, you'll need a half of an A4 sheet, four and one eighth across and half the sheet. We'll fold that in a minute. You'll also need another piece at 10 and I had never wrote it down. Yes, I did. Ten and three eighths by three and one eighth. Well, uh, three and a half. Sorry. Ten and three eighths by three and a half. I got carried away and stuck a piece of paper on there where I shouldn't have. And I've also scored it when I shouldn't have. But I scored this at four and three quarters and seven and a half. Right, the DSP you'll need, I'm using the yellow Daffodil Delight gingham paper. So you need one piece at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. You'll need two pieces at 3 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. Let's go on this side here. You also need a piece of gingham paper at two and five eighths by three and three eighths. That's this piece here I stuck down already. And you'll need two pieces of white cardstock, one at three and three eighths by four and five eighths, which will go there, and one at two and five eighths by three and three eighths, which will go there. Oh, not seeing that. That's it. We'll go like that. I've actually wrote on all the cards so I remember the measurements. But you won't be able to see them. So, the stamp sets we're using is Wonderful Romance, and we're just going to use the flower image. And Beauty Abound, and we're going to use our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. Seems this is for my card pal. So first of all, let's fold this. I'm not going to score it, I'm just going to fold it. My bone folder. Fold it in half. Like that. And then fold this in half again to meet the score line. will go on like that. So we might as well stick our DSP on. And the glue's not deciding to work. There we are. I'll we'll stick that piece this piece on here line up with that one and then the 
big piece. On. Like that. And that's our DSP on. And then we'll attach this, once we've stamped it all, on there. And that'll be our Z-fold. But first of all, we need to stamp. Put my lid on. And I've got no stamps out. So I want this one and that one. And I want this one. Put that on there. That one on there. And that one on. My black ink. I'm going to ink up the flower. And I'm going to stamp that right to the left of the card. Let's clean it. Right, the sentiment, our friendship isn't one big thing. I'm going to stamp just here. Pray it straight. Lovely. And the other sentiment I'm going to stamp inside, and it needs to go this way. Nearly. Does it go this way? Yes, I think then. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. It's a million little things. Right. Put that away. And put that away. We don't need that. Right, what do we do next? With our daffodils alight and the tiny spot stamp and the little block we're going to add some dots. To this one I just put some dots in the four corners which I'll do the same here it's very subtle, you can't see them very well. That's nice. And then on this we just put some yellow dots randomly around the card. size just subtle dots oh, 
Right, finished with that. Let me just have to quickly colour this in. And I'm just using my marker pens. So I'm going to use um, Pear Possess, I think. Is this Pear Possess? Yeah. And Old Olive. I'll do two different colour leaves. I'll do blue. So what blue have I got? No, I'll have to do pink because I haven't got the new marker pens yet. And I'm going to do pumpkin pie I think. Must be this one for the flowers. Yeah. And soft suede for the branch. Right. <laughs> so let's do the leaves. Let's do the smaller leaves in Peppers As. to change to use my markers instead of my blends. Doesn't take long to colour this in. Right, and the old olive will do the big leaves. We're getting all the bits between flowers and leaves. Trying to do this quite neat and not go over the edge. And this one. And then this one. Right, with our blushing bride, I'm sure this is blushing bride. It is. We're just gonna Colour in these buds. I actually think they're leaves. We can have pink leaves.
quite pretty already. Right, let's do the stem. There, where else is there a stem? I'll just follow this line down and make them brown. And we just got the flowers to do. Nice orange. I used this stamp to make a wedding card the other day for my niece. She's going to be married on the 12th of April, so by the time you see this, she'll already be married. Um, oh, forgot the buds, look. Better. There we have it, a nice coloured card which will go on there. Actually that looks quite nice. So we'll pop that on. And we've got a wedding to go to next week week today actually. Got my daughter from Scotland coming down. I have to go and pick her up at the airport next Thursday. I've also got my sister from Ireland coming over. She's coming over on the Wednesday. Lucky enough, the airport's only half an hour away. Not too bad. And there we have that. All we've got left to do is to stick this on there. Well, that's turned out quite nice. I like that. Right. I'll measure this up straight and where I'm going to put it. So what I'm going to do, hold my thumb there and I'm just going to glue that bit. Then I'm going to place this Back on here. Equal amounts either side. Make sure there's no glue showing that side. have it. And now 
got to glue this side down so what I do is just put some glue on it and close hold it down and rub it And there we have the card, but what I will do, I never did it on this one, is add some gems. So up comes the gem box. I'm going to add gold ones to this one. I'm just going to add three randomly here on this lower half, lower bit. Just like that. And I'll do the same on this one. There they are. That's got gems on now. So there you have it. You can't see them. One pretty Z fold card. I hope you like it. Hope Sam likes it. It's more important. Because I will be sending it to her. All I can say is thank you for watching. If you like my card, please um, give us a thumbs up, share, and you can subscribe. If you wish to be notified of any more videos I upload, please press the notification button or bell button. And I usually upload on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.